Life in prison with parole eligibility in 10 years. That was the sentence convicted killer Samson Arister was handed today for murdering a Toronto man three years ago. Arister stabbed the victim with a combat knife during a fight outside a Bramble Hamilton home. As uh, Kelly Botello tells us, the victim's family was too heartbroken to be present for today's decision. In the early hours of September 10th, 2017, Samson Arister was kicked out of Coco Bongo Lounge on York Boulevard in Hamilton after a run-in with a man named Riald Vercani from Toronto. But instead of going home, Arister waited outside with a friend. He had a concealed combat knife on him, a weapon similar to this. A fight then broke out in the parking lot. Arister was punched. He then used his long knife and stabbed Vercani. Paramedics worked on the victim in the parking lot, but the man later died in hospital. Kind and kindled spirit. Well, we had goals, aspirations. He did uh, have his own business. He was a... Uh, good member of the community. Eduard Viskrisienski was longtime friends with the victim. At the time of his death, Verkani was a new father. His daughter, now three years old. Viskrisienski says Verkani's family couldn't bear to be in court today. Some of the members of the family just couldn't physically face this person. Arister was convicted of second-degree murder about a year ago. Imprisonment for life is his sentence, but today the judge decided that he will be eligible for parole in 10 years, the shortest amount of time possible for a conviction of second-degree murder. The judge uh, respected the jurors' uh, decision. The majority of them recommended 10 years, and uh, I, I respect that. Homicide detective Steve Berzuk says the victim's family is top of mind today. It's been very painful for them. So I do hope today is just another day to move forward and start a new chapter. With the time he has already served, Arister will be eligible for parole on September 11th, 2027. Kelly Batello, CHCH News.